Welcome to Emilia Romagna here in Italy, where Alto Dromo and Zuidino Ferrari will host round three of ELMS 2024. Now, there are a fantastic 43 cars lining up on the grid, so the four hours of Imola definitely promises something great. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we had the 24 Hours of Le Mans, one of the biggest endurance racing events on the calendar, and one of our very own drivers won it for the second time in his career, Francois Perodo. Now, we asked some of Fancho's teammates just what makes him so special and why he keeps winning in motorsport. fait euh, ensemble le Mans classique. Je suis parti avec une voiture qui est tombée en panne dans le premier tour. François, euh, cinq minutes après, tapait la rail euh, juste à l'endroit où j'étais euh, parqué. Donc on a commencé à, à discuter à ce moment-là. I tried to, to coach him because it was his first uh, modern race. I was a bit uh, maybe harsh on the coaching, but at the end I was true, you know, when, uh, when you are young, you say the truth. We met for the first time at a test day in Vallelunga in 2019. Yeah, I met Francois first time in 2020. Uh, our first race together was uh, Portimao ILMS. Super nice feeling with him. I met him uh, last year uh, in Portimao after the last LMS race. So actually, it was a uh, was a nice memory. It was really fun from the first moment. I learned a lot on the human being as well with Francois. Uh, I grew up a uh, lot faster because I was only 16, 17 at that point. Uh, he's really committed, and it's it's really appreciable for us. He's not doing any mistake anymore, and that's why he's winning championship and he's winning Le Mans. I'm really impressed, especially this year, because uh, this year with all the power of the uh, LMP2, it's uh, more difficult to, to drive. And uh, he really impressed me. He's uh, all, always really fast and consistent. I obviously didn't know um, once I came back that he had won in LMP2 as well. After being friends for, for so many years now, knowing each other so well. He's also a big part of me being being in hypercar now since he decided to trust me in the beginning. The victory is also uh, thanks to him, so it, it was amazing that he was there to witness it as well. Maybe I, I did give him some opportunity, but he also brought me a lot, so it's uh, it's definitely a win-win situation. He's a pure product of uh, endurance racing and uh, and uh, and the Ferrari family. Uh, and then, as a joke, you know, obviously I told him that uh, now he owes me a lot. He can give me the trophy. He refused, so uh, I asked him to give me the, the watch. So uh, yeah, he's got my address. I'm expecting that watch anytime soon now. You can see he's a really nice guy. Uh, he never matters. Uh, he will help you uh, whatever you need. On s'est créé une bonne amitié et je pense que c'est pas c'est pas prêt de s'arrêter parce qu'il est c'est un gars qui est extraordinaire. Maybe when he says okay I'm tired I don't want to do it anymore maybe he will stop but I think he has a lot of years to, to continue. It's a wonderful person to be honest it's also my best friend and I'm proud to be to be friends with Francois. He is always positive and uh, with a smile so it is always good. Mm -hmm.